So we have the base plates, all right? A little bit simpler part, has a lot of holes to keep track of, uh, but a little simpler part overall. So uh, kind of look at the overall shape. We're going to start from there and make that. So we're going to go 7 inches, 3 inches, uh, and then we'll come back and do all of the half inch typical all the way through it uh, so we'll get that laid out so let's run over to inventor that is there new part start to sketch i'm going to do it on the xy plane all right now we got to figure out where do we want to start this so let me go here um, let's go ahead and put the origin there so we'll go out and up and then go back down and I'm not flipping between the two properly. There we go. <clears throat> so we'll go do out and down. And then let's go up. Now, I'm only doing the bottom section right now. All right. And that turns up like that. Am I got that right? Down. Yep. All right. As cause, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to offset. All right. I'm going to come here. I'm going to say offset by 0.5, which is the thickness. All right. So it automatically sets all of those. All right. Um, yes, half inch typical. All right. And so we'll do the line here and the line here. All right. So notice this is already set up. All we need to do is how tall it is. So it's one and a half from top to bottom dimension there to there 1.5 that is done and then we come over here seven inches overall length dimension here to here seven inches all right and then uh how far down uh it is two and a half overall all right so keep with the de the designer the design intent and they, they are saying that, that this being 2.5 is important, so that is what we are going to do. All right, so that part is fully constrained. Finish the sketch. Extrude it. All right, we are going to extrude it 3 inches because that is how deep it is. So now all we got to do is put in the holes. So let's go ahead and punch in this 1 and 3 quarter inch hole. Come up here. Lay that in. And we need to find the center of this line. So I'm going to go from here to here. Or, right, so I could totally do this, right? Uh, but you know what? What I'm realizing is I want to, you know, keep this on my axis. So I'm going to finish sketch, right? And I'm just going to delete this one. And we'll come back and do that. And I'm going to go back to my extrusion, edit feature, right? And I'm going to say, hey, do it symmetric around that plane. So now I have a plane smack dab in the middle of the park because it went one and a half inches one way, one and a half inches the other way. All right, so now when I start my 2D sketch and I click here, right, why did it? Um, okay, so it is still in there. Um, it's showing that offwards. But if we look at the origin, right, my origin is in the correct spot. All right. So from there, we are going to lay in that circle. We are going to do a line from the origin. All right. And then we'll come up. And they are saying it's smack dab in the center. One way to find that is I can come over here, wait till that turns, wait till that turns green, right? And that will tell me that I'm in the middle, right? So there it topped green. I'm going to go back to my top view. I'm going to come straight across, right? So that is the middle, right? Now that's a little tricky, so, you know, take your time. The other way to do that, right? Probably the more efficient way to have done that. Um, and so, the more efficient way to do that probably was what I originally intended to do, which was to do a line from this corner to this corner, right? And then you simply drop a point on the midpoint of that line. That was probably more efficient. Matter of fact, I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to make that, that I'm going to make this line construction. 
and I'm going to put my point there. All right, so don't mean to confuse you. All I did was make a, a line from there to there. That will find the center one. That's what I wanted to do originally, but I was trying to be uh, a little different. Uh, but it turned out to be much uh, more efficient to do it that way. One and three quarter, 1.75. All right, and so let's go ahead, finish that sketch, extrude it, cut it, all the way through, done. All right, now we're going to put in these two. Um, uh, so these are threaded holes, right? Two places, diameter 3 8 24 threads per inch, UNF class 2B threads, right there and there. So let's go and put those in. We're going to make a sketch, right? We are going to use the hole command. So all we need are points, right? However, right, I need a little bit of construction geometry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go line, right? I'm going to select or hover over that to the center point shows up. And then I'm going to say that to that and drop that one in. And then I'm going to say this is equal to that. So they are the same length. And they are one and three quarters out from the center. 1.75. All right. And then I'm going to say, hey, that is a center line and that is a center line. And at the end of these, point, point. All right, because my whole command, which I'm going to use, wants a point. All right, so now if we go into here, right, we are doing a tap toll, 3 8 24, UNF 2B. All right, so we're going to go here to a tap toll, right? We are in unified 3 8 right? So now I have 3 8 16th. I want 3 8 24. That's thread per inch, class 2B threads. And it is 2B thread. So that is done. Now all we need to make certain is we are not doing a counter bore. All right. So there's no counter bore on that. And that we are all the way through. And we hit OK. And Inventor is kind of cool, right? If you do a tapped hole, it's, it's going to put in fake threads for you. So you can kind of see like, oh, that is totally a threaded hole. Okay. So now we need to throw in our four holes that are half inch in diameter. All right, so super easy. Okay, I'm gonna come here, uh, cause I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna draw a sketch on there. All right, and so let's see how they hit. So they are putting these uh, half inch down from the top and then centered inch and a half um, distance between the two. Okay, and we know that these are all identical, right? The, that this is the same amount over, right? Because we have the center lines extended down. Uh, so that shows that they are all part of the same pattern. So half inch up and inch and a half from the center of these. So let's do a line and let's do the line from the middle, right? And I'll do middle to middle. Why not? All right, so that will give me the mid plane of that. I'm going to say that is... Um, construction line. I'm going to do an offset, right? And I'm going to offset this 0.5 and I'm going to offset this 0.5. That will give me the half inch up. I am also going to make this uh, construction line, construction line, and construction line, All right? And so then now we need to throw in our circles. All right, so I can just do circle, circle, circle circle um oops i drew all those construction lines so we can just click those off not paying attention here there we go all right and so now i want to i've still got construction line on let's turn that off uh click those those are equal those are equal and those are equal. So they're all four equal size. Let's give one a dimension so we have the correct size. This is 0.5. And so now all we need to do is have them be an inch and a half distant from one another. All right, so I can say from here to here is 1.5. All right, and then I'm going to, because the design intent was for this to be vertically um, aligned, I am going to draw two lines from point center point to center point, and then I'm going to say, "Hey, make that vertical. Hey, make that vertical." Right, and so now we're tying those together alongside that design intent that they 
they put together when they dimensioned it. All right, and so we put that in there. And so the only thing that we have left, right, is we have not, we have not figured out, right, um, our side to side distance, right? We have this 1.5, right, but we don't have it even, right? So we could do this two way. We could say from here to here is 0.75, or I'm going to use this wonderful symmetric command, and I'm going to say circle, circle make it symmetric around that boom it is done all right finish the sketch now you're like mr d these are floating in the air well what we're going to do i'm going to extrude that i'm going to extrude it all the way through right and i'm going to totally cut um cut my way through it is asking me it's not doing anything because it wants to know which ones do you want to do that to and i want to do to all of these right uh so i'm cutting all the way through all right, hit OK. Now I have my four holes. And there is a fillet on this underside and underside and the call out. All right, so see this fillet there and the fillet there. And do we have a call out for that? I do not see, it should be here where it looks like a curve, uh, however, I think they have missed that dimension. Um, and this is the part where you have to start assuming, and that is a terrible thing to do in uh, the drawing, but we're going to say it's probably a half inch radius, or a quarter inch radius. Alright, so we'll do the fillet here, we're going to say 0.25, alright, we're going to select that. Uh, that looks like it's like it looks like the curve goes all the way up to the hole. All right, so that is probably what it is. Might be a little bit, and this is the dangerous part. Like you should not assume. We're going to say it's 0.25 and call it good enough uh, for what we are doing. All right, so that is that part.